hello friends welcome back to the phone gap radio tutorial today uh, we are going to talk about the next plugin called globalization this is the very important plugin uh, according to if your application supports for the globalization okay uh, this plugin uh, gives you the standard settings of your of the particular device like the uh, date and time format number format uh, currency format okay etc etc let's uh, do that if you want uh, to see the different plugins uh, examples then you can find uh, all the examples on my uh, youtube channel that is youtube.com slash web boostings or you can also get it from my website it's called web sorry programming guru.com okay from this website you can get all the uh, details of your Android application, iOS applications, web programming language, Objective C, whatever you want. Okay, just go there, you will get all the things at one place. Yeah. Coming back to the tutorial, here I have a first added a plugin called org.apache.cordova.globalization. Okay, in my existing project, I have added that, and uh, here I have created a buttons for each and every method. Uh, which is available in globalization plugin okay uh, after that I have just created a function for example get preferred language okay for that uh, I have a method that is a uh, navigator dot globalization dot get preferred language uh, the success callback and the error callback in the success callback I have printed whatever the response gives by the get preferred language in the s okay as well as for the get local okay get the local name uh, date to string that means I have to pass a new parameter date okay let's uh, run this application first and uh, I'll explain uh, one by one I'm running this application in my uh, simulator emulator so here you can get that yeah okay the first create preferred language okay what is the uh, preferred language the language is in English okay same way the local name is also in English date to string you have to pass a date and uh, it will convert give uh, it will convert into the system formatted date and uh, it will returns the date like this okay this is the DDMM YY format okay if you change your system uh, system format it will automatically changes this okay string to date that means you have to pass a string it will automatically convert into the date like year month day hour minute seconds okay after the get pattern okay what is the pattern of your uh, mobile device that is the ddmmyy okay it will uh, give you all the csa centrals uh, time offset okay get date names the pattern the time zone okay after that uh, is daylight saving time uh, it gives the false uh, let's check what is the daylight is daylight saving time indicates whether the daylight saving time is in effect for a given date using the client's time zone and calendar okay it will shows the uh, what do you say uh, the differentiate it's a day or it's a night I hope so like that after they get the first day of a week that is the one and after the number two string uh, we have to pass a number I have passed the uh, 3.14 and more and it uh, converts to the string okay and if I string to number it uh, converts to the number okay the reference you can see over there get the number pattern this is the number pattern okay this is the pattern this is set into your devices okay whatever the setting is in devices uh, it will retrieve that and uh, show you get currency pattern okay uh, this is the same uh, same as compared to the get number patterns okay just you get the dollar or whatever the sign is supported by your uh, browser in mobile browser it will shows that right okay now uh, let's go back to the code okay yeah 
this is the date to string okay I, uh, in this you have to pass up three parameters first is your uh, date object second is a success callback third is the error sorry error callback and uh, last is the format length and a formatter selector date and time if you specify only time it will return only time it will specify the date it will return the date okay short long whatever the format you want the string to date okay you have to pass the string like this or uh, you can also pass uh, the time with it but you have to set the date and time selector here okay and the success and error callback as well as the get date pattern okay in this you have to pass the three parameters that is success callback error callback and the options okay short and uh, what type of selectors you want same for the get date names okay you have to pass the option the optional values that is the type void and item months after that is daylight saving only two parameters success callback sorry three uh, the date success callback and error callback first week as well as uh, all these are the different uh, method which has which is available in uh, uh, globalization plugin and you can uh, create your own uh, applications in the local time zone in a local language okay by using this plugin i hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, globalization plugin tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel till then bye, -bye.